Hello, everybody. Well, I've been a teeth whitening technician for about 17 years now, and I want to talk to you guys about why I often see people who have been teeth whitening technicians for years or a couple months, they're just getting started, and then they come to me and wonder why they're not getting clients. People say, you know, Andrea, you're obviously getting clients. You're very, very busy. Why can't I get clients? Maybe they have been following my advice, but then they're at a standstill. So maybe they were able to get five clients, but now they're like, where's the rest of them coming in? What's going on? So I want to talk to you guys about what I see. What are the reasons why you might not be getting clients? Okay. I can give you a number of reasons, but I'm going to zone in really on the key reasons why you might not be getting clients. One of them is going to be, it might, it might sound silly, but if you're doubting yourself, if you're that person where you're going into your teeth whitening business, going like, well, I'm going to try to get clients. I'm going to work a day a week. You know, I'm not going to be as busy as Andrea is. Cause you know, she's just really good at it. I'm not, I'm not going to make enough money, but I'm going to try. So if you're doubting yourself, if you're not confident, you're holding yourself back. Does that make sense? It's so different than somebody who is a go-getter, who is ambitious, who is motivated. And they say, you know what? I need to make extra money this month to feed my family, or I need to make extra money because I really want to decorate my new office. That's what I'm going to do. Or I need to make extra money to take my kids on a really nice vacation that we've been dying to do. I'm going to work so hard to do that. Those that work really hard, they get clients. It's that simple. Um, but you also can't expect to get clients overnight from one post. If you're posting about your new teeth whitening business, you're advertising about it. And then after seven days, you're kind of like, why don't I have any clients? So these things take time, but it's really about pushing yourself, marketing, advertising, um, being excited and really holding yourself accountable. So that's another thing too, that I want to talk to you about. If you're trying things and it's not working, well, don't keep doing them. Let's say you've told yourself, I'm only going to have a Facebook page. I'm only going to advertise on Facebook. I don't want to have to worry about a website, Instagram, all of that, Twitter, who knows, TikTok. There's so many out there. Um, and you've been advertising consistently, let's say on social media. Um, Facebook might be your primary one and you're doing it every day. You're following my advice. You're being consistent. You're making your Facebook group look super nice, professional. You're answering questions that people are commenting on. You've been whitening your, your mom's teeth, your dad's, your friends, your coworkers, but those are your only clients. You've been doing it for a month now and nothing's working. Well, you know what? You need to try something else. Just because you're doing something that might work for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you and vice versa. If I was trying something you were doing because you're getting so many clients, but it doesn't work for me, it just might not work for me. So try something else. It is so important to really figure out what's working and what's not. Maybe you're posting every day on social media before you go to bed at midnight. And nobody sees your posts until tomorrow. Because keep in mind, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, anything, you need to be posting when people are the most engaged. Of course, you're not going to be home all of that time to do that, but then you want to schedule posts. So you really need to be up on social media because that is your storefront. People aren't just going to magically know you have a teeth whitening business. You have to be on social media. You have to figure out what's working and what's not. I give lots of advice inside the course, the Whitening Pro Academy, where I give you multiple different things too. So if you do only want to use Instagram, you're not interested in Facebook, TikTok, nothing. I'm going to really teach you guys how to maximize Instagram and do the best you can to get clients. If you follow what I tell you, that should work for you, at least get you a couple clients. But then if you're kind of at a standstill, well, then you know what? You might want to try Facebook because that might be for you. I'm the perfect example. So I use Facebook and Twitter. TikTok just doesn't work for me. Twitter just doesn't work for me, nor do I care to use it, to be honest. But Facebook and Instagram work for me. I was a Facebook girl for the longest time. I didn't know Instagram at all. I started posting on Instagram and I seem to be getting more clients from Instagram. So it just really depends on you. So you have to be okay to switch it up a little bit. Another mistake that I commonly see is just what am I trying to say? Like you're setting yourself short. So you're basically saying, you know what? I'm just going to have a website. I'm not going to worry about the social media stuff. That's all I'm going to have.
okay, well, you're selling your, like, you're just cutting it off. Like you're, you're not giving yourself time to really do a good job. Like you, you need to, you need to do more, or you're just saying, you know what? I don't care about the website. I don't care about Insta um, Instagram. I'm just going to do Facebook. Or you might be thinking, I'm not going to advertise at all. I'm just going to market. I don't know, like every Tuesday, I'm going to like post a before and after photo. The key to success is to really be consistent and to work hard and be motivated. And if something isn't working, then switch it up. This goes for anything. Honestly, think of anything you've ever done in life, starting a new job. Okay. You're not going to be perfect at it right away. It takes practice. It takes time, but you also don't want to wait two years before you get clients. So you really need to be trying different things. Another thing that I notice as well is people don't know how to talk to clients. So you really have to be friendly. You have to be professional. If a potential client is sending you a message, asking you questions on, oh, well, how does teeth whitening work? Like, is it going to make my teeth sensitive? How do you do it? What products do you use? And you're responding back to them like, well, you can book an appointment like anytime. Well, you didn't answer any of their questions. They're not going to book an appointment with you because you don't sound very friendly. You just want them to book an appointment and pay you right away. So it really helps to be friendly on social media. Talk to people, answer their questions, let them know, hey, I'm here if you need anything. Like you can ask me a million questions. If you decide to book, fantastic, that would be great. So be friendly and talk to people and don't be afraid to ask questions. So I do see this a lot where I will have a client or they will let me know that somebody was asking them questions. Um, they might message me and say, Andrea, like, how do I respond to a potential client who's asking me what product I use? I don't want to tell them. And I say, well, why not? Like you should tell them. Um, if you don't tell them, it kind of implies you're hiding something and they want to know. So I would let them know. And I would say things like, this is an amazing product. I use it for myself. I've been whitening teeth for two years. Um, it doesn't cause sensitivity or a limited sensitive, uh, sensitivity. And then ask them a question. Say, do you have sensitive teeth? Because if you do, I do suggest my, my clients all use like a Sensodyne toothpaste first just to really make sure that they don't have sensitive teeth. So talk to your clients. Don't be afraid to give them information, but then always ask at the end, would you like to book an appointment? I would love to see you. I would love to show you how amazing you're going to feel after you have your teeth whitened. So people love that. Another thing that I notice is prices. Okay. So I should have probably said this at the beginning, but people want to really shortchange themselves. They're like, I'm going to do teeth whitening for $60 for new patients only for this week. No, because then you look cheap. Your services look cheap. Nobody wants to go to the cheapest hairstylist, to the cheapest lash technician, to the cheapest teeth whitening technician, because why are they so cheap? Are they using expired products? Are they using products nobody wants to use? You need to, <coughs> sorry guys, oh my God. <coughs> I don't have water with me. I'm so sorry, but you need to put a value on your service, but you also don't want to go too high, like teeth whitening, $500. People aren't going to go for that because the next person that they saw advertising on Instagram is doing it for $200, but do not do low ball, low price teeth whitening services. And I tell my, my students all the time, I don't even like you guys offering sales because then your customers are always going to expect sales. Do you see hairstylists? advertise about, oh, today only highlights are half off or this month only highlights are half off. No, because people are coming to them. They still have to pay the same price for their product, for their hair tools, for all of that. So why would they offer it less? It just cheapens your service. So I know you all want to offer deals, but I don't recommend doing that. I suggest if you really want to offer something, I suggest saying something like, Couples this week only save $20 on your professional teeth whitening, something like that. Or maybe you're going to give them a free sample tube of Sensodyne to take home afterwards, you know, something like that. But don't offer like crazy cheap services if that makes sense, because that's a big mistake. That is why you're not getting clients because they can see people who are watching you, maybe not liking your posts or commenting, but they're watching you. 
and they can see that for the past two months on Mondays, your services are half off. But then a couple of days later, it's 75% off or, you know, whatever. So they're like, hmm, she must not be getting clients. I don't want to go to her because she can't be very good. You want to look busy. So that brings me to my next point. You want to look busy. If you're only posting about, you know, um, teeth whitening with me today, like, look, who wants their teeth whitened? Post about how busy you are. Post before and after photos. Post photos about your office space, or if you're doing mobile teeth whitening, take photos of you setting up, take a video of you setting up and cleaning up every day. If not every day, consistently per week, three or four times a week, showing that you're always doing something. So you're not just waiting at the computer, waiting for potential clients to book teeth whitening with you. Okay. So those are kind of the key things. So I'm just going to recap them a little bit here. So not really valuing yourself, either not being confident or undercharging. So that is a big mistake that I see um, teeth whitening technicians are making, and that's why they're not getting clients. They're not posting consistently on social media, so nobody really knows they exist. They're not being friendly with potential clients. They're not asking questions. They're not also saying, oh, would you like to book an appointment now? After your 20 questions, do you want to book an appointment? So be friendly with everybody. Don't charge too little and really be out there. Be consistent with social media. That really plays a big factor. So comment below, you guys, if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.